Hey guys and welcome back. Okay, so today's video is sort of a get ready with me. I have a job interview at 2 o'clock. It is currently 10.50. Basically what happened, the way it happened was I rang this company that is here in Northern Ireland yesterday. I rang up and they're basically looking on a recruitment site for about five months now. And I do have a job at the moment, so it's not that I don't have a job. It's for the fact that I'm going back to school in September to do uh, biomedical science. So, um, yeah, the current job I'm in at the, at the moment aren't accommodating the right shifts that I need. They aren't, not that they're not accommodating them. They're not able to give me the shifts that I need to basically allow me to go back to school. And this other other company is, it rang up and I was like, hi, I was just wondering if you have any jobs available now or in the near future. And they put me straight through to the guy in charge and the guy was like, um, yeah, we actually do have jobs available now. Are you available for an interview tomorrow? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so really, he asked me a couple of questions on the on the phone about what experience I had so I told him and then he offered me the interview so I have to be ready for my interview soon which I'm, I'm a nervous wreck when it comes to interviews okay so we're going to get ready oh I've just realized how booby this top is sorry apologies let's get that bear watch on this is my best friend's t-shirt sorry Sarah I borrowed your t-shirt <laughs> Get the hair out of the way. I'm using this TI style brush. Let's get the hair all brushed. Sort of. Oh, I hate see when people ring about stupid. Can you read us on this call centers? I hate them and it wasn't even a call center, it was one of them automatic ones. Like guys, no. I think I look a little bit windswept. A little bit of moisturizer. I'm using the number seven day cream. I have a very normal to dry skin, but um, around my nose would be the driest area of my skin. So I wanna really moisturize that up. And yeah. Is I wonder these eyes. So I'm using MAC Pro Long Wear NC20. It's, I don't use it as a concealer, I use it as an eyeshadow because as a concealer it's great but it just doesn't work well with my skin. But look how dirty it is. It's so so dirty at the moment. I'm starting off with this color here and just going in just to set, sort of set that colour. Mm, this guy here. I guess I'm not very good with knowing which colours to go where, but I'm going to go in with is this colour. Blend, blend, blend. This plum colour. Okay, so it looks absolutely terrible right now, but I'm going to take just this brush and just go on like this. Mariah Carey's um, My Mimi, her, from her Christmas collection, and it still has her face on it. I think it's too dark as a highlighter for me, personally, so I'm going to just take it on this little 
on this little brush and I've been using it as just an eyeshadow. So back in to my Morphe palette. I'm taking this color here, this one here, an angled brush with this and not for it to be angled but just so it can be on the outer corner. my soap and glory eyeliner and just gonna line in here and I'm gonna take it on my upper line This is an Urban Decay's Blackout from the Naked Two palette. So they have them in pretty much all their palettes now. So yeah, just sort of press it on top of that black. By far, my favourite mascara at the moment is the Maybelline, the Colossal Go Extreme in Colossal Black. It's by far my favourite, so yeah, let's use it. Don't you love when you get black on your fingers? It has a mighty big brush. I love it. It's my favourite mascara. I love all Maybelline mascaras. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. A little bit. Just put it on my cheeks, down my nose, forehead, chin, because I have a bit of texture there and around this area of my nose. Cheeks, I don't really have pores. Noticeable pores. But I'm just trying to blur my face out at the moment. So... I have issues from my nose, so let's get that figured out. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever. I haven't used my Makeup Forever in a while, so let's go in with this. Just like so, angled kabuki. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of Cover FX Custom Drops in a E Plus Chamomile. I love these, so. Does anyone else's uh, bottles like suction in permanently and like get all gross and sticky? I don't know why mine has, but it's disgusting. I don't know where's all this light coming from? Okay, so I'm now taking my Revlon Photo Finish, no, Revlon Photo Ready. Um, what is this? Eye primer and brightener. Up a little bit because they're pretty gross. Oh my goodness, I look terrible. <laughs> I look awful. Such a confidence booster. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it with my finger because why not? I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Naked Skin Concealer right under my eyes. And then just take this brush and blend, blend, blend my contour kit and use the banana powder out of it to counteract my purple bags. And that will also set the powder that is underneath. Take my Real Techniques um, contour brush and go in with my contour color, which is this one here in my Anastasia uh, palette. A little bit up here, and a little bit right there, and blend it. 
this color and this color. I mix these two to get my shade. And yeah. Okay. Eyebrows are done. <clears throat> I think today I'm going to use the number 7 blush in Soft Damson. I used to use this a lot when I was younger. That's it there. And then I'm just going to take it on this Real Techniques blush brush and just put that on my face. Gives me a little bit of colour. But not like too much colour. Just the perfect highlighter is the Becca Champion Pop by Jaclyn Hill. Love this. This is honestly the best highlighter I've ever used in my life. I love it so much. And I like to take it down my nose and then I also like to put it on my brow bone. Uh, I'm gonna keep it so. My Hourglass Luminous Light powder and I'm just going to take it on my Real Techniques stippling brush and I'm just gonna put that on my forehead and like under my eyes down this nose chin and lastly I'm gonna take Max Velvet Teddy and just whip that on okay have you guys ever heard of the L'Oreal Paris Magic Retouch now, because it's not time for me to get my hair dyed, you guys can see, I don't normally show my greys, but I am today. I'm going to show you. Maybe you see. Run out of product. On to do my hair. I'm going to do my hair off camera. I'm just going to straighten it. You guys know how to straighten your hair. And then I'll be back to you with the finished look. Okay, I'm ready now. I straightened my hair and put a little bit of the Tony and Guy texturizing spray in it. And um, jewelry right wise, I'm wearing my fantasy earrings. And yeah, I got them for my 18th birthday, so they were five years ago, so they're probably not in stock if you like them. I'm wearing my Apple Watch and my Pandora ring which was from the Valentine's collection. Is it sad that I bought a, a Valentine's ring for myself? I don't know, is it? Outfit time. Not very like cool. It's just like a pair of navy trousers and this flowy top and a small pair of wedges. I can't actually wear big heels at the moment because I have an injury. I slipped a disc in my back two months ago so I can't really wear a lot of heels at the moment because my sciatic nerve in my right leg is uh, damaged so I can't wear heels unfortunately so I'm just wearing a small pair of what do you call them wedges so yeah that is the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll let you know if I got the job. Bye!